Right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavy. Veteran Herbert Dino, ready, referee ready. for this one. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of the round. Strike is blocked by Gunn. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cito Gunn, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Gunn is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Gunn, and you can see that. Oh, maybe the best stretch is thrown today. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Oh, landed some big shots, too. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Nice jab there by Aspinall. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But expect oh. He's hurt bad. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Nice hook there by Aspinall. Back 
right to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Just missed with the left there. Gon's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's going to be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh. Round two coming up next. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and... Aspinall's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Way to hide that leg close. Don's kick to the body is blocked. Great job by Cyril Gon to use his feet to get inside and land the jab. A lot of people are going to be trying to take this guy down, but he moves so well. People talk about Cyril Gon as if he moves like a welter. Oh! This could be it! Well, he misses with the left punch there. They continue to exchange. Some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. <laughs> Building back and forth with you. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Oh, you want to start to look to finish him now. Now we're going. Oh, that front kick. That front kick was nasty. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Surreal Bongamon. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champion.